Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. And what I'm going to do in this video is create health checks using ASP.NET Core so you can verify that your local or lean silo is functioning correctly. Now this is really useful if you're using some type of container orchestration like Kubernetes or AWS's ECS, those type of services, because they all provide built-in mechanisms to have health checks to verify that your services are up. And if the service is down, it, you can configure to spawn more to meet certain threshold of the minimum amount of services that you are running. So in my previous video, I showed how you can co-host ASP.NET Core and Orlean side by side. And to me, this is one of the biggest benefits is providing health checks for your local Orlean silo. So let's take a look. All right, so the way we can actually accomplish this with Orleans is to use a stateless worker grain. And what this is, is basically a grain that will execute uh, locally, so where we're actually hosting our silo um, with ASP.NET Core alongside of it. And that way we can evoke this grain and it's just gonna return, we'll make it return a bool or it could just return a task, really anything. But when we do that, that we'll know if we get a response that the actual local silo is working. So we're gonna create a stateless worker grain, um, and that's how we'll use that within our health check to make sure that our local silo's up. All right, so to get started here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, um, basically a, like I said, a stateless grain. So create a public interface, we'll call this I health check grain, and we'll just give it a, uh, with GUID key, we'll just use an empty GUID as kind of our identifier. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make it return a bool, although in reality, you'll see that this doesn't really have to. Uh, we'll just call this as healthy. So in our implementation, well, this was gonna be a green in our eye health check green. So what we're, we can do here is potentially perform other uh, varying checks, um, but because I just want to check that the actual grain is working, um, there really isn't much to do here other than we can do from result and do true. I mean, if you wanted to check storage here, I mean, the argument could be made that this that would actually be another check on and of itself. Um, so we'll just return true, just do a task from result true. So there is our grain. Now, like I said, we need to make this a stateless worker. So we'll do stateless worker, and you can do what the max number of local workers are, like the number of grains that it can create um, locally, and we only want that to be one. So there we go, there is our health check grain. All right, so now let's actually create the actual um, health check itself that we're gonna wire up to ASP.NET Core. So we'll call this the Orleans health check. I spelled that right, I believe so. All right, so let's make this way huger. Okay, so ASP.NET Core, if you don't know about health checks, I'm not covering it necessarily in um, kind of this tutorial, if you will, um, but I'll show you how to create one. So there's an iHealth check, which is in Microsoft Extensions Diagnostic Health Checks, and this is essentially how we're gonna create a health check. So because we are using ASP.NET Core co-hosted with generic host uh, with Orleans. We automatically now have the cluster client available to us. So if you see my last video, I kind of demoed this. So let's grab our cluster client. And now what I can do here is actually perform the health check. So one of the first things I'll do is let's just check if it's initialized. Um, actually, if it isn't, then what I want to do is we're going to return a health check status result, like a health check result of um, healthy, and we'll say that it's initializing. If I could spell right. There we go. Um, what am I missing here? Health check result, healthy. Oh, because this is going to be async. So let's leave that for now. Um, and let's wrap a try catch 
because now what we're going to do is actually going to go use our cluster client and try to get the grain. So what we'll do here is let's call our cluster client. We'll do get grain, and it's going to be RI health check grain. And we are going to do grid empty because that's what we made as our identifier. And we'll check to see if it's healthy. What we'll do here, if it is healthy, uh, we will return healthy. Otherwise, we will return unhealthy. Let's make this async. And if we get an exception uh, trying to get our green, then we will also return a unhealthy. Let's just provide health check green failed. And let's also give the uh, other exception. All right, so this is our health check. Now, another uh, piece of the puzzle here, just to kind of make things easier, is I'm going to create a, an extension method that um, we'll use... Um, to add our health check in the startup of our ASP.NET Core. So let's create our extension. All right, so let's do let it static I health check builder. There it is. This is what is used in the startup and I'll show you in a minute. Let's do add Orleans health check, and this is our health check builder. There it is. This will just make it easier to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to return to builder dot add it to the builder. So we're going to add a registration. Near, here we actually get to provide the actual name of what our health check is, so let's call this, I don't know, uh, Orleans Health Check. Sounds about right. Uh, actually, we can make that private, actually. Um, let's call it Health Check. And then the second argument is going to be a, a func that gives us the eye service provider. And we need to return our eye health check, which is going to be the one we just created there, the Orleans health check. So what we can do here is do a new Orleans health check. And because we have to provide the um, eye cluster client, we can do, oops service and cluster client yeah, so you can actually see here and then our last argument will be or second last argument will be the health status of if it's unhealthy by default so we'll use that and then any extra tags that we want to use which we don't really so um, I'll just return an empty array all right, so now we have our health check that is fetching our grain and returning healthy or unhealthy, whether it can get it or not. And then I just created this little extension method that we can use when we actually set up our health checks in the startup. So let's do that now. All right, so to wire this all up and get working, let's jump over to the startup. And what we need to do in our configure services is we need to add health checks. So we'll do add health checks. And then this is where our builder, we just use our extension method, we can add Orleans health check. And then the last piece of the puzzle here is in our configure, we need to uh, basically use health checks and we tell it where the path is that we actually want to um, um, access it from. So let's just add it this here in the pipeline. So we can use health checks. And then here you just give the actual path and we'll call it health. All right, that's it. We are now set up, so let's give this a run.
Here we go. Okay, so we have our app running as normal like I did in my previous video. And then if I go to health, we see now that we're healthy. There we go. All right, so that's it. That's how to set up health checks when you're co-hosting alongside ASP.NET Core. If you want to get all the code samples, you can head over to my blog at codeopinion.com. I have a blog post here, which the link will be in the description. And again, if you haven't seen the first video where I got ASP.NET Core and Orleans working side by side, you can check that out as, that out as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more uh, Orleans content uh, specifically or anything related to ASP.NET Core, that type of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and again, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thanks.